quick fix is brought to you by Pure 24, wow. Pure Natural Supplements designed for the body and mind. They make supplements affordable and easy to use. Use our code, The Fix, to get 15% off. And of course, presume marketing consultant, the public relation marketing uh, consultants for all your public relation needs. All right, so Quada calls out Popcorn. Um, but before that, in a recent interview with Brandon Gomez um, on a show, well, sorry. In a recent interview with Brandon <laughs> Gomez show on YouTube, Dwayne Hines, main pro promoter of the recently held Kingston Music Fest in Canada, spoke out in defense of the show and some of the challenges that brought down the overall experience of the music festival. He went on to specifically mention Popcorn, who publicly criticized the promoter for their poor management and organization of the show and demanded refunds on behalf of the patrons. Hein went on, Hein, sorry, went on to reveal that he paid the DJ 150,000 US dollars and a private jet for doing the show. He questioned if Popcorn would give back his income generated um, in order for the issue of the refunds he's demanding. So Popcorn responded to nice Heinz. Nice deflection technique there, by the way. <laughs> right. Popcorn re responded to Heinz' claim via Instagram story, writing, whoever you be, profanity, profanity, profanity. Mm. You provide jet for who? P word. <coughs> Me get my own jet and pay for it out of my pocket. Go profanity, profanity, profanity. And stop trying pretty up things, little profanity. Fog. I think I don't know. I think that's something. Little else. little fog. Yeah, yeah. At Kingston. Is Fest. it that him can spell it? All right. I don't think he, he meant to spell it I that think he way. He meant to spell it that way. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. The P PC way. Yeah. yeah. So quarter also. PC popcorn. Quarter also <laughs> chimed in on these claims and wrote on his Instagram story, "How the hell a nigga can make twenty-two million dollars for a show and not even would I share a hundred thousand with him crew?" were supporting he went on and said i ain't one artist this when i run back on a boy or girl and no man can't tell me what to do or how for me to do it and me and my own dan own boss una like that profanity 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 <laughs> <laughs> Only can't take back my glory my father got set for me me not stop shame on with good music goat emoji and success so yeah wasn't it um quarter that did say that Parker and i'm god so would this be blasphemy or backsliding now? <laughs> well, <laughs> we can't go, we can't go down, we can't go down here you now. Just leave me now. <laughs> talk your thoughts. Talk your thoughts and just leave me out okay? here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Have a discussion. Him say, my God. So I ask if if this is him backsliding. The last, the last comment that prior to this, quarter had towards Popcorn was that it's blessing and love and unity. Yeah. And he's the grateful for Popcorn giving him the opportunity. So I remember I said Popcorn make the song Family too. So what's going on here? Mm-hmm. What's going on here? It's a legit question. Okay, anyway, so my thoughts on the interview with Brandon Gones, um, with the promoter, Dwayne, Dwayne Hines. Why am I missing his name? Because you're drunk. <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> um, yeah, he... I think he, the, I watched a whole 20 minutes interview and it oh, kind of seemed did? very deflective. Like he was just like, listen, it was just, it was bad. It was kind of almost putting the blame on the patron saying mm. they ruined, um, because they pushed on the barricade, they ruined the, the, the technical, um, the outlet. So that yeah. plug out the audio. So why <laughs> you, the, the audience weren't able to hear, but I feel like that's really a deflection and mm. overall just the, I, I wasn't there obviously, but I saw a panoramic view of it, especially when they were breaking down the barricades. Mm. You know, it looked very far from the crowd, so it just feel like it wasn't organized. Like in terms of set design, it wasn't organized properly. Because mm. even people who were in general, like it seems so far from the actual stage that them really can't see or hear. So of course that would detract from the experience that they're having. So it kind of just feel like deflection to me. Quada now, like I don't understand why Quada decided to like chime in here, like you know. I mean people in my say my pocket watch i'm not saying that i'm not saying that either but i just never felt like he needed to have chimed in like mm. popcorn he has so many people around him 
constantly i mm-hmm. think that if he wasn't some if he wasn't somebody that would cheer we would have known this prior to quarter so mm-hmm. i don't know maybe mm-hmm. pop can't have him think of and well good 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 and pop quarter seems to be the only the one disciples. that can stand up mm-hmm. but i feel like no, if he wasn't off, sharing off right mm-hmm. so if he wasn't sharing i felt like we would have known about this long ago you know seriousness in, in regards to what the show um promoter was saying it just seemed like you are right in, mm-hmm. in regards to deflection it seems mm-hmm. seems like a lot of corners were cut in mm-hmm. the name of making a profit mm-hmm. a profit and not in regards to putting on a proper show mm-hmm. um this just looked bad all around and for him fair say oh, no refund and 50 percent for the next show is like it no really a spell good for the next show and people wanting to go there indeed mm-hmm. i pretty much said what i needed to say about quad and popcorn yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Bounty Killer Law Jada Kingdom's GPP. Bounty Killer has praised Jada Kingdom on her latest release titled GPP. In an Instagram post on Wednesday afternoon, the cross, angry, and miserable DJ shared a snippet of the visual with the caption Baddest female sang this in a dance hall to the Dagalia. I do our homework. Some lazy girl just there. Home at work. Well diverse and creative girl. A pure fire. Good problem at Jada Kingdom. Do that again. <laughs> Reacting to the post a few hours later, Jada Kingdom responding, My God, that's not what she said. I'm editing. Mm. Thanks a million, General. Stephen the Genius McGregor, responsible for producing the racy composition, also chimed in, um, in on the Warlord's rumor stating from the General Sessasso GPP. Yeah, I think it's a good song. Like, it really is. I hope it gets a proper promotion and push that it ought to get for it to be a success, not just locally, but internationally. I think we said this on the podcast, just the overall, her voice and the sultriness and the, the, the kind of retro vibes of like jazz, mm. blues that she's giving. It's so good. Um, The video is actually, um, <clears throat> the video itself also, the concept of it was really good and I love it. So I just hope that this is her getting back on track, doing what she needs to do to be the star that I think, you know, many people think that she could be. Yeah, the most definitely. <laughs> the key phrase I like is getting back on track. I, I think that this is a good um, way in which to get back on track. Just putting out good music and mm-hmm. getting away from the controversy and the Instagram lives and the, the selling Tweety. of the diss. And I say, mm-hmm. yeah. Good music and this is a very good sign different unique yeah. shout out f- to bounty killer um for bigging up this song mm-hmm. shout out to the genius for the production on this song mm-hmm. it's not doing quite what i think it's supposed to be doing but but probably be, probably in time with proper promotion yeah. proper push maybe it's it a slow burn do, it can, ca- yeah, it's probably. not in a bounce and in a have the sort of bounce mm. and um energy that we you know that's would be popular right now in the mm. summer even though some are dead done but um give it give it some time yeah give it i some really time. like the song i really yeah. do yeah um all right so Nicki minaj hints that she's writing her verse for little miss remix with skeng Nicki minaj has given hints that there might be a collaboration in the works with skeng on a remix of his song little miss in a clip posted on tuesday Nicki is seen lip syncing to the track in what appears to be a dressing room writing my verse she hinted in her caption minaj has previously endorsed skeng street cred and gunman shift going as far as saying that protocol was the baddest song to come out in years she collaborated with Skilly Bang on the Crocodile Tea remix, which spent one week at number 100 on the Billboard Hot 100 last year. They performed the track together for the first time in Toronto last week. Skilly Bang and Nicki Minaj. So now, yeah, it's a good look. Um, I would only hope that if a collaboration really far from this, it's something unlike what she did with Skilly Bang. I know that it did reach on Billboard and it did you know help skilly Bing, you know see the performance mm-hmm. um at the, the reunion for evidence mm-hmm. but it almost did seem like she co-opted the song in a sense mm-hmm. and, and took it as her own mm-hmm. um so i'd like this to be a true collaboration, collaboration. between two entities yeah where she's playing within the wheelhouse of dancehall mm-hmm. and you know dancehall and skin get the proper praise right. it deserves from this. I, ca- I agree with that like um as we said that she felt like she co-opted it's almost like she just used the rhythm but there was like a negotiation i said well you can't just use the rhythm you have to use skilly like get skilly on it so mm. that's why 
it felt like very disjointed because mm. even her verse and what was the what the song was about was so disjointed. Mm. Um, but I hope that but she seemed to be back into dancehall culture and she's she really is supportive. Back, she's she's been into it for quite some time. Mm, yeah, but she's always on the Oscar. So no, mm. she coming like she back into it, back into it like a collaborate because she did the Egyptian and uh, cartel okay. and something okay, like okay. she's okay. back in. Mm. So um, I hope that as you rightly said that this does well for Skeng if in fact she is writing a verse you mm. know Nikki love for toy with people so but it's just a way for endorses so either way is a good look for Skeng yeah yeah okay I hope this uh, at least what will this do for the power level scaling that people seem to be doing you know with Skeng massacre like how would this affect Skeng's power level mm. that be over 10,000 Maybe. Just, I mean, it's just trajectory for him. He's really the hottest thing in dancehall right now. Since, there's no denying Since we that. all have on our scouters and watching power levels. Yeah, no. there's yeah. no denying that King is the hottest thing in dancehall right now. So it's just like, he, it's just the trajectory he's mm. taking, continuing to take. Okay, yeah. let's see. All right, so that does it for Quick Fix. Mm.